Good day, ladies and gentlemen. If you're watching our vlog, we're here this evening to enlighten all of you about quadrilaterals and the steps on constructing. We will be using the app GeoGebra to help you learn. First of all, let's have a recap on understanding quadrilaterals. A quadrilateral is an important geometrical concept that we students need to learn while understanding geometry. It is a four-sided polygon having four angles that include square, rectangle, rhombus, parallelogram, trapezium, and kite. A lot of quadrilaterals are relevant in our daily life. In fact, many of the things we see every day resemble mathematical shapes like circles, quadrilaterals, and triangles. And the phone or laptop you're using as you're watching your vlog right now is an example of a quadrilateral. So, let's start, shall we? Here is Carl Christian Asada to teach you more about properties and types of parallelogram and so on, blah blah blah. Hashtag, math is fun. Hello everyone, good morning! First of all, I'd like to thank the people who is watching me right now. So before we proceed to the main agenda, let me introduce myself. I'm Caucasian Sada from Loyo Rodriguez Jr. High School. In this talk, I'll give you a brief introduction and we focus more on understanding the parallelogram and identifying its properties through constructing it on the algebra app. By the end of this talk, I hope you will be familiar with parallelogram shape. The purpose of this video is to provide a detailed information about the parallelogram. So let's start. At first, we should understand the definition of parallelogram and determine its properties. This should be confirmed during construction. I prepared the joke for you but you should apply Bonakid song and my corny jokes. The parallelogram shape consists of three special kinds including rhombus, square, and rectangles. <laughs> so as we begin this lesson, let me ask you a question. For you, what is the definition of parallelogram? Definition of parallelogram. In geometry, a parallelogram is a quadrilateral or a four-sided polygon in which both pairs of opposite sides are parallel or congruent to each other. Also, the lengths of the two parallel sides and opposite angles are equal in measure. These interior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary. The sum of all the interior angles of the parallelogram is equal to 360 degrees. A parallelogram is a two-dimensional figure. It consists of four sides, where the two pairs of sides are parallel to each other. The length of the parallel sides is the same. Also, the opposite interior angles of a parallelogram must always be equal all the time. And if the lengths of the parallel sides are not equal, hence, the shape is not considered a parallelogram. Parallelograms consist of three special kinds, including squares, where all four sides are equal in length, and they intersect at right angles. The next one is a rectangle, where only the opposite sides are equal and all the sides intersect at right angles. Finally, a rhombus whose sides are all the same length but do not intersect at the right angles. These three shapes that I gave you also have the same characteristics or properties that are similar to parallelograms. Parallelogram is a flat two-dimensional shape with four angles. The opposite interior angles are equal. The angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary. In other words, the total of it is 180 degrees. Therefore, the total of the inter angles of the parallelogram is equivalent to 360 degrees. The properties of a parallelogram in terms of its angles are the following. Opposite angles are congruent. Consecutive angles are supplementary. The properties of a parallelogram in terms of its sides are Opposite sides are parallel. Opposite sides are equal. The diagonals are not equal in length. Diagonals bisect each other. The unique characteristics of 
parallelograms among others are the following. Opposite sides are congruent. Opposite angles are congruent. Adjacent angles are supplementary. Diagonals bisect each other. Opposite sides are parallel. Previously, we discussed the definition and the properties of parallelogram. So now we proceed on constructing parallelogram via GeoGebra. Pindutin natin yung click, yung check sa show, key, show access at no grid para clear yung gagawa natin ng parallelogram. Una gagawa tayo ng segment A and B, kayo na bahala kung gusto niya patayo o pahiga sa akin patayo muna. Pangalaw, gagawa tayo ng segment na i-coconnect natin sa segment A and B. Dahil may patayo na tayo, may ga naman ang gagawin natin. So, bali, mayroon na tayong tatlong points, A, B, and C. Pangatlo, pindutin natin yung parallel line, tapos click point C, and line A and B. Tapos, ganun din sa kabila, click point B, naman tapos line C and A. Pag nagawa na natin yan, makikita na natin na mayroong intersection sa lines na inad natin. Gagawin natin, lalagyan natin ng point yung intersection. Pang-apat, show hide object lang natin yung parallel lines. Tapos, palitan natin siya ng segment. Malalaman yung tama yung ginawa nyo kung hindi naghihiwalay-walay. So, try nyo siya i-move. Pang-lima, lalagyan natin ng sukat yung bawat gilid gamit yung distance or length. Tapos, lalagyan din natin siya yung angle. Siyempre, angle tool naman, alam ang distance pa din yan. Pang-anong gagawa kayo ng diagonal segment, tapos A and D, at yung isang diagonal naman ay point B and C. Lagyan din natin ng point yung intersection, tapos sukat din yung diagonals, at panghuli ay angle sa diagonals, at malilit na measurements ng diagonal. So, that's all for today. I hope you enjoy and learn something new stuff from me. Thank you, keep safe, and goodbye! Ipapaliwanag ko sa inyo kung ano ang rectangle at kung paano ito i-construct using GeoGebra. So, ayun na nga. Wait lang. So, ayun, dahil walang uh, audio, kasi maingay, ako na lang ang maging audio na. Mmm, sarap ng kain. Tempura yan. Dudes. Ipapakita nyo pa. Mmm, what a fried rice. Mmm, masarap. Mmm, coke. For the win. And basso. Mm. And bilok ko sana nga. Ay tapos na pala yung background music. So ayun na nga, tinapit yung baso and mga guys, sa ako ng buhok. Dahil kakain nga ako bago ako mag-discuss sa inyo. Mas forward na natin ito. Ayun, inom na ako. Hmm, sakit sa lalamunan. Ouch! Ito na talaga, totoong background na. Mmm, what a fried rice. Hindi ko lang kung walang tawag dyan, pero yun na yun, fried rice. Sa yun na yun, kainin ko na lang. Let's eat round one. Mmm, what a tempura. Grabe yan, Lord. Pakita pero sauce ng tempura yan. So, tempura sauce. Hindi ko lang mapakita ng maayos kasi yan ko hindi mo hawan. Ayan, sinaw-saw. Ayan na akong hulog na babali. Ayan, nabali ulit. Ayan, 
kilit na ako na para hindi na mahulog. Ayan, kilit na ako pa. Mmm, so rap. Mmm, subo ka na yun. Subo, dali, dali, dali. Ayan, pre, papas forward natin ito. At ayoko kayo makita. Ay, ayoko kayo nabubari. Papas forward na natin ito. Habang pinapas forward ko ito, um, explain ko na siyempre. Iba yung boses ko, huwag ka magulat. So today, I'm going to teach you about rectangle. A rectangle is a type of quadrilateral with parallel sides that are equal to each other and all four vertices that are equal to 90 degrees. Panis, ganda ng boses ko na. Lapit ka mag-English na. Oh, panis, ang bilis ko kumain. Dali, dali, bilis ang mo. Dali, dali, dali. Bilis ang mo kumain. Mag-explain ka pa. Mag-explain pa ako. Dali. Dalian mo. Ayun. Ito ang round 2. Fight. Let's eat. Ang bilis ah. Ang bilis kumain ah. Uy. Kumuha na naman ng tembura oh. Ay, nakalimuta ko. Kailangan pa pala mag-explain. So, ito na. Since the opposite sides are equal and parallel, a rectangle can also be termed a parallelogram. A rectangle is a four-sided polygon with interior angles that are all 90 degrees. Ayun, grabe yan. Nakapabilis kumain. Grabe. 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 Nakapabilis kumain. Grabe. Nudes. So, ayun, kailangan ko ikat kasi may gagawin ako. So, may biba. And I'm back. Ayun. So, kain ulit ako. Ay, tapos na pala. Nakalaman ko. Pwede tayo ng round 3. Ayan ang round 3. Grabe yan. Let's see pa rin. Pangatlong kaning ko. And pangatlong lecture ko. Ulit. Ayun talaga, ayaw ko yan kanina ko pa tinatapan. Ayun ko kung ano yun, ginger daw sabi. Ops, medyo nahihirapan na ako. Puno, puno na yung tiyang ko, grabe. Pero wala akong magagawa, kailangan ko mag-explain. The two sides at each corner, or vertex, meet at right angles. The opposite sides of the rectangle are equal in length, which makes it different from a square. Sobrang bilis ko mag-pumain dito at ay na-explain ko na lang, kailangan ko explain na Ah, di ko alam kung sabihin ba, di ako makapag-ibig mo kayo na Ah, salam siya, salam siya, salam siya, magwala ko kay mama At sa buong pamilya ko, at happy birthday nga po pala sa tito ko, April number 1 And ah, di ko na alam ka I love you sir, ah Ah, di ko na alam ka nagsasabihin ko sa'yo, na-explain ko na lahat And, thumbs up Properties of rectangle It has four sides and four vertices Each vertex has an angle equal to 90 degrees The opposite sides are equal and parallel Diagonals bisect each other A perimeter is equal to twice the sum of its length and breadth An area is equal to the product of its length and breadth It's a parallelogram with four right angles the sum of all interior angles is equal to 360 degrees. Earlier, I explained the definition and properties of rectangle. Now, I will show you how to construct a rectangle using GeoGebra. First, open the GeoGebra app or in Google, then click the setting sign, press the check, and show access. Also, no grid. Proceeding, make a segment A and B. Click the perpendicular line by pressing point A and point B. Then place up. Place A point C below point A. Next, Click the parallel line, then click the point C and point B. Lastly, 
click the perpendicular line then click point B to point A and make a point B below point B then find the show or hide object Select the perpendicular and parallel lines in the created rectangle and find delete. When there are no more lines, press segment and connect the points. Now let's proceed to its properties. First, use the distance or length to find the measurements of all sides of rectangle. And then, ayusin lang natin sa gilid ang measurement. Second, click the angle. And find the angles of rectangle. Third, make a segment A and B and segment B and C. Then find the measurements of that diagonal. And ayusin lang natin ang measurements sa gilid. Ngayon, naiaarali natin kung paano mag-construct ng square along with its properties sa geogebra. Pero bago yan, alamin muna natin ang definition ng square at mga properties na kailangang makira sa construction.
what is square and its properties are, let us identify those properties through constructing a square in GeoGebra. <clears throat> to begin, open the geometry, then click the setting sign. Check the box for show access and select no grid. Make a segment A and B, then click the perpendicular line by pressing point A, then the line, and repeat it in point B. The circle with the center from point A, drag it to point B, then from point B, drag it to point A. You can see that the two circles from form an intersecting with the perpendicular line. The next thing you'll do is to put a point on the intersecting lines. It's your choice if you're going to put it above or below. It doesn't matter as long as it's created of square. After that, hide the circle at two perpendicular lines and connect the points by using segments. We already made a square. Now let's proceed to its properties. First, use the distance or length to find the measurements of all the sides of a square. Makikita natin na lahat ng side ay equal, which is a property of a square. Second, click the area. Another property is that the angles should all be right angles or 90 degrees. Buti pa yung angles right, di katulad mo na hindi right para sa kanya. Suntukan na lang! Third, make the diagonals by connecting points using segments. Fourth, put the point at the intersection of the diagonals. Fifth, put the measurement of the diagonals. Another property is that the length of diagonals is greater than the side lengths. And sixth, create the, the angles in the diagonals. Seventh, the first four 90 degrees, divide all of them into two. Just click that angle two, then the diagonal line, and one side of a square. And lastly, put in the measurements of the smaller diagonal. Constructing it, you can easily identify the properties of a square. That's oh my god! Wow! That's it, guys. I hope you learned how to construct and identify the properties of a square. George is going to fly the kite first. George runs as fast as he can. Dito ay araw-araw natin nakikita na gagamit sa ating pamumuhay. Da ito ay mahalagang ating napag-aaralan. Nakapagpalipad ka na ba ng kite before? Naalala nyo ba kung paano ito gawin? Ito ay may required measurements upang ito ay makalipad. Ang kite ay parang buhay lamang. Ngunit minsan tayo ay nasa taas at minsan naman ay tayo nasa baba. Moving on, come and let's learn about kite's properties and will be followed by a tutorial of how to construct it. First, a kite has two pairs of adjacent sides that are equal. Second, one pair of opposite angles is equal. Third, the diagonals of a kite are perpendicular to each other. Fourth, the longer the diagonal of the kite presents, the shorter the diagonal. And last, fifth, the area of a kite is equal to half the product of the length of its diagonal. Exactly one diagonal is bisected. What is a kite? A kite is a quadrilateral that has two distinct pairs of adjacent congruent sides. The angles where the adjacent pairs of sides meet are equal. No pairs of sides in a kite are parallel, but one pair of opposite angles is equal. Now that the discussion is finished, it is now time for you to learn about how to construct a kite using GeoGebra. First, open the GeoGebra app and follow the steps I did on the recorded video.
Here is the finished product of the kite we constructed using GeoGebra. Thank you for listening and now you know about the properties of a kite and how to construct a kite using GeoGebra. Let's talk right now about Trumps. So what do you know about Trumps? Meron ka na bang alam about dito? I don't know. Siyempre, hindi ko pa na-explain. Ito na nga. A rhombus is a special case of a parallelogram that is four-sided quadrilateral. In a rhombus, opposite sides are parallel and the opposite angles are equal. Moreover, all the sides of a rhombus are equal in length and the diagonals bisect each other at right angles. The rhombus is also called a diamond or rhombus diamond. Gets nyo ba yung sinabi ko? Ganun ko talaga. So, bakit nga ba tinawag ang rhombus na diamond? Because the shape resembles a diamond and it is the shape that you'd expect to see on playing cards to represent the suit of diamonds. Kung gusto mo malaman kung totoo ang sinasabi ko, hanapin ninyo ang barahan ninyo sa bahay nyo if ever na may available. Tignan mo na. Tignan mo lang. So, wala naman. Ito. Ano ako dalawa dito? Tama na. Ayan. At isa pa, wala silang pinagkaiba, ang rhombus ay mathematical term at ang diamond ay general term. Pero sa geometry, pwede mo naman sila na rhombus or diamond. Tumungo naman tayo sa susunod ay ang properties of rhombus. Some of the important properties of the rhombus are as follows. Number one, all sides of the rhombus are equal. Number two, the opposite sides of a rhombus are parallel. Number three, the opposite angles of a rhombus are equal. Number four, in a rhombus diagonal, Basic each other at right angles. Number five, diagonals basic the angles of a rhombus. Number six, the sum of the two adjacent angles is equal to 180 degrees. And most importantly, the two diagonals of a rhombus from from for right angles triangles which are congruent with each other. Kung may alam na kayo or ideas sinabi nila tungkol kay Rhombus, tuturuan ko naman kayo na magmahal na isang taong hindi naman mapapa kayo. Joke! Tuturuan ko nga kayo kung paano mag-construct ng Rhombus Using GeoGebra. In this tutorial, we will construct a rhombus using a circle. Open GeoGebra and select geometry from the perspective menu on the sidebar. Select the segment between two points too. I click two different points in the drawing pad to construct segment AB. Select the circle with center two points. Click point A and then click point B. Construct a circle with center A and passing to point B. Now construct point C on the circle by selecting new point O and then clicking on the circumference of the circle. Your drawing should look like bigger. Now, using the segment between two points O, construct radius AC to construct a line that is parallel to AB and passing through C. Select parallel 
parallel line to select segment AB and then select point C. Now, construct a line that is parallel to AC and passes through point B. We will intersect the two lines. To do this, select the insert, intersect two objects tool and then click on the intersection of the two lines. We will now hide the circle and then the two lines. To do this, right click each of these objects and then select show object option from the context menu. To complete the rhombus, use the segment between two points tool to connect points C, C and D and points B and D. And we are done! Followed by, this is the discovery of the properties of a rhombus. Select the distance or length tool to know what the measure of all sides is in the property of a rhombus. Find the angle tool to know the measure of all angles in the properties of a rhombus. There are two different angles, which are the acute angle and the obtuse angle. So, the opposite of a rhombus are equal. Create a segment and connect A, D, and B, C. There is an intersection line, right? Put the point on it. And that's the point B. E. Find right now the angle 2 and tap A, B, C. And as you can see, it's the right angle in properties of rhombus diagonals that bisect each other at right angles. Select distance or length to then tap points AE, BE, CE, and DE. To learn the length of each parallel line, AE and BE are the same measurement while well, B and C are the same in properties of rhombus, diagonals are congruent. And, la and lastly, find the angle tool to measure diagonal angles and find the adjacent angles. Then tap points E, C, B, and E, D, C. Their angle measure is equal and the other adjacent angles Tap point EPA and EBD. Are also the same angle and we are here to palawanag at mag English at the same time, by the way. Sana may natutulang kayo sa aking tutorial sa pag-construct ng rhombus at pagkahanap ng properties in the algebra. Kung alam nyo na, i-practice mo naman at salamat sa pananood. Moving on, let's talk about the trapezoid, especially the isosceles trapezoid. We'll tell you all about the trapezoid and show you how to construct it. First off, what is a trapezoid? Trapezoids are quadrilaterals with at least one pair of opposite parallel sides. While as isosceles trapezoids are trapezoids with congruent legs. After that's that, let's learn about the properties of an isosceles trapezoid. The legs are congruent, the diagonals are congruent but not bisected, the lower base angles and the upper base angles are congruent, the opposite angles are supplementary. Next, we will tell you how to solve the midline theorem and give you some facts about it. To get the length of the midline, we'll need an equation to solve it. This equation is A is equal to 1 half times B plus C. A being the midline, B and C being the two parallel sides. We can get the length of the midline by adding the length of the two parallel sides by multiplying it by 1 half. Here are the facts about the midline theorem. 
The midline is in between the two bases. Segments formed when cut by the midline are congruent. Segments formed when cut by the midline are proportional. Finally, we'll show you guys how to construct the isosceles trapezoid using the app or website JUGebra. You can try to construct it too by following our instructions and video. No, stop! What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing with your life? Me! Tanina pa kayo nandiyan? Teka lang. Konnichiwa at sapa ko yung nagbabalik para ipakita sa inyo kung paano bumuo ng isang isosceles trapezoid. Buksan natin ang GeoGebra Geometry na app o website. Tanggalin natin ang grids at axis para hindi ito makakal ito. Pindutin ang segment tool at gumawa ng segment na palang at tugtungan ito ng diagonal na segment. Pagkatapos ay hanapin ang perpendicular by sector tool sa construct section. Gamit nito ay makakagawa tayo ng perpendicular na linya sa gitna ng segment AB. Pindutin ang ginawa nating segment na pahalang. Pag meron na tayong linya, ay magtungo tayo sa transform section at pindutin ang detect about line tool. Pindutin ang point C at pindutin na rin ang linya matayo. Ginawa natin ito para makabutay ang trapezoid na may pantay na legs. Papangalanan ko lang ang bagong point na ito para hindi tayo malito. Dahil hindi na natin kailangan ang linya patayo, ay ating gagamitin ang show or hide tool mula sa edit section para itago ito. Gamitin ang segment tool para pagdugtungin ang mga point. Ayan, meron na tayong isosceles trapezoid. Lagyan natin ito ng dalawang diagonal at mga sukat gamit ang angle at distancer length tool para malaman natin kung tama nga ba ang nabuo nating trapezoid. Para malaman natin kung tukma ba ang ginawa nating trapezoid, ay babalikan natin ang mga properties. Ang unang property ay, the legs are congruent. Kung titignan natin, ang dalawang legs ng trapezoid ay pareho ang sukat, kaya tukma ito. Ang pangalawa ay, the diagonals are congruent but not bisected. Makikita natin pares silang 4.7 ng sukat, kaya congruent sila. Pero pag sinukat natin ang bawat hati, ay makikita nating magkaiba ang sukat ito, kaya hindi sila by sekret. Tugma rin ito sa property na nabangkit. Pangatlo, the lower base angles and upper base angles are congruent. Kung makikita natin, ang lower base angles angle A at angle B, ay parehong sukat na 74.1 degrees at ang upper base angles angle C at angle D ay pareho din ng sukat na 105.9 degrees Parehas na congruent ang upper base angles at lower base angles kaya masasabing tugma rin ito sa property na nabangkit At huli, the opposite angles are supplementary ang supplementary ay nangangangulugang. Kapag pinagsama mo ang dalawang angulo, ay ang kabuhan nito ay maging 180 degrees. Ang opposite angle ng angle A ay angle D. At kapag pinagsama mo ito, 74.1 degrees plus 105.9 degrees, ang maging kabuhan nito ay 180 degrees. Kaya tukma rin ang property na ito. Tugma ang lahat ng property sa ating ginawang trapezoid. 
kaya nangangahulugang gusto ang ginawa nating isosilis lamsoid. Yun lang at salamat sa pakikisama sa akin. That's all everyone! Goodbye! Joke! Wait a minute! Before we end this vlog, I'm gonna give you guys a short recap of what we have discussed in this video. It's all about the quadrilaterals. Isa siyang uri ng polygon na may four sides, four vertices, at may four na angles na kapag sinukat, ang total ay 360 degrees. Let's remember the quadrilateral family tree. There's the kind and the trapezoid. Under the trapezoid is the parallelogram. Under the parallelogram, next are the rectangle and the rhombus. And underneath these two is the square. We discuss all the properties of each of the family members of the quadrilaterals and how to construct them in the algebra. We hope you got a good luck and enjoy learning about the quadrilateral family. This is it. Goodbye.